Hello, today I'm going to try and put together all of this and uh, try and make a solar filter so that I can photograph an eclipse that's coming up on the 20th of March. Um, so what I've got here is uh, some solar filter um, and I'm going to try and cut it so that it fits uh, into these um, adapters and then eventually the whole lot will sit on top of the lens and a uh, control amount of light that hits the camera uh, so that we can take photographs of the sun safely. Um, so what I've got here is a Sigma 70 to 200 millimeter lens um, but the, the important thing is the um, size of the the front element um, and onto that we'll, we're going to put this adapter um, so, for example, I have a, uh, don't know if you can see that there, but it's a 77 millimeter uh, diameter. And I've got a uh, 77 millimeter uh, adapter to 82 millimeter. And I'm going to set the, the solar filter into that. And then just to keep it in place, I'm going to cover it with this UV filter uh, which is 82 millimeters so that will fit into this and then all this will sit on top of the lens and uh, yeah so what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace around the 82 millimeter side of this uh, using a using a little knife and then I'm going to uh, sort of trim it down so that it fits snugly in there without falling all the way through so, yeah, I'm going to cut now and then come back hopefully when it's all done. Okay, so what I've done so far is, uh, as I say, trace around the uh, larger ring of the adapter. And that has left me with a sort of imprint of, of where I need to be cutting. Um, so what I'm going to do now is, uh, well, hopefully try and cut all the way through and uh, separate the bit that I want from the rest of it uh, and then the rest of it can be reused if, if I uh, require it for anything else. Um, just to say here that I got all the different bits and pieces uh, online so the adapter was off of a vendor from eBay and that was about three pounds worth uh, and same for the UV filter uh, it was a different vendor, but again about three pounds. Um, free shipping for both, so there's six pounds there. And the solar filter I got off of Amazon, uh, I believe it was around about uh, twelve pounds, and it was about six pounds shipping. Um, and only realised later that it was coming from Israel, so uh, it's uh, come a long way. So yeah, all this together is about twenty pounds, and. It should afford me uh, some great shots of the sun uh, come March 20th. I think it's good value. Uh, so I'll come back whenever I've got this cut out uh, and just show you what I'm going to do next. Okay, so I'm nearly done uh, cutting this all out. Um, it's separated from the, the, the main bit and I've just got this last little bit to go here. Uh, so we'll see what I can get done. Just following the line of the the trace that I made. I'm just doing little bits at a time. And I think that's more or less it done. Maybe a few little bits that are still attached. and it's gone. So there's a lot of dust on it but we'll see just how it clear this out of the way just if it uh, 
Now it's gone, it should be slightly too big because we're tracing around the outside edge, so I'm just going to have to go along it and sort of trim it down manually. Um, but I've got the, the main part cut out, and there seems to be a few little scratches on it, but um, I'm going to have to try and take pictures of the sun and see just how it looks. Um, but that's it, mostly done. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to go along it with, with the little knife and take off any excess so it'll fit nice and snug in there. Uh, I'll come back when I'm, I'm done with that. Okay, so I've been at it for a while now and as you can see there's plenty of trimmings and I'm still not in, uh, but it's it's getting there. Um, the filters become a lot more uh, ragged, um, but there should be plenty of of, uh, of give. Uh, as long as it sits on that and doesn't fall through, that's, that's it. Um, so there's a good uh, each side. You know, there's plenty of space for it, so I should be able to cut away, ha sorry, hack away a fair bit um, without it uh, being destroyed. Um, so I'm just going to keep on at it, and uh, hopefully, eventually, it'll it'll fit in. Um, I don't have to start over. I've gone too far, but yeah, I'll I'll be back shortly. And um, yeah, it seems to be done now. Um, I've taken most of the dust off. I've just blown it away with a little uh, thing I have cleaning dust off, and the worst of the the fingerprints. Um, I uh, took away with a little cloth, so it's fitting snugly into the bottom uh, uh, of the adapter ring. And I just need to add the UV uh, filter. Just screw it in. seems to be it and there you go um, yeah and now just to attach it to the front of the lens and see if I can take some pictures um, I'm not sure what the weather's like at the minute uh, might get some shots of the sun now but uh, yeah that should be me ready to go for March 20th okay so I've just propped up my lens and I'm just gonna fit the uh, filter on the front, just screw it in place. <laughs> See the camera. There we go. Solar filter attached, and yeah, I'll see if I can get some shots of this on. Okay, so it was fortunate to be able to get some uh, clear skies and was able to grab a few quick pictures with the uh, filter I've just made. Um, so this first one is a picture of the sun at the maximum length of the lens at 200mm. Um, I believe the uh, aperture was at f8 and it's about 1 40th of a second. Um, it's not particularly striking. But if we go on to the next picture, I've got a, a teleconverter two times, so uh, it should be around about 400 millimeters, and uh, you, you can start to see some detail. Um, so then I took this picture, and I brought it into Lightroom, and I cropped it and just enhanced uh, some of the detail, sharpened it up a bit, uh, got rid of some of the noise, and uh, yeah, you can see a lot of uh, sunspots. Um, just one in the top left and one in the bottom right and then you can make out some fainter ones uh, just around them um, so yeah I'm, I'm pretty happy um, bring on the eclipse so the idea for this uh, came from uh, instructables.com and I'll just link to the sort of recipe um, and all the steps that, that were involved just on the screen here and in the doobly-doo uh, okay thank you